Hola, hola, hola. Buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful planner babes. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, the planning diva. And I'm going to get back into my flagship planner this morning. It's actually Saturday morning, April 29th. It is my birthday today. So um, I'm going to be setting up my birthday spread in my happy planner. And this is my flagship planner, which is actually now my creative journal. I used to have kind of household to do's and errands in here and before i used to have like my household to do's in this planner as well as just like regular journaling so you can see here i have like a couple of checklists but also like just journaling and i realized i wanted this to be exclusively a journal a creative journal for myself and not so much a to-do list and so i ended up splitting um this into just my creative journal and then I moved my household stuff into a classic size in my my Franken planner, my multiverse planner. So quickly just flipping through April, this is the first week in April, I went to an entomology conference for work so that's why this is bug themed. I still haven't journaled in here, I don't know if I ever will. <laughs> uh, I feel like this week feels like such a faraway dream to me at this point. I'll think about it. I'll try to remember what happened in these days. This week was happy illustrations and bandeau stickers. Um, I was in here a little bit more. And then this was the current, no, this was last week. And actually, um, this is the Trudy the Pooh, Trudy You, and Teeny Florals combination and i was in here off and on this is the weekend um this is the week where on the weekend i went to a conference in lake arrowhead in the bernardino mountains here in socal and it was just busy time busy time and then this is the current week <laughs> and i have nothing i have absolutely nothing it's saturday and i have nothing here and that's just that's just what happens sometimes and better late than never right and this is a journaling planner so it's not too intensive if i don't keep up with it whatever that means and so like i said it is my birthday today so i'm going to be doing a birthday spread and i'm going to be using these paper studio birthday stickers these are just adorable i remember when i bought these um I bought these particularly for this exact week, so I'm going to be pulling those out. And also, I'm going to be using Rachel's stickers that she sent me. Oh my goodness, thank you so much, Rachel. You are wonderful. You are the best. You are an angel. Y'all, I have to show you this amazing sticker book that Rachel G sent me. That's Rachel from Rach Makes a Plan um she's on instagram i'll leave her handle here on the screen so you can go check out her content she shares amazing planner content and she's really inspired me in so many ways particularly in my classic um franken planner i love how she sets hers up but she is such a crafty babe she made this entire sticker book like she made the laminated cover because she laminates and makes her own personal covers and dividers. She sent me this beautiful scrapbook paper. She made this amazing um, divider. I love it. I love how it's like a travel babe, a girly babe. I love it. She gave me a pack of stickers in this sticker storage um, pocket. She just gave me a bunch of these. I wonder where these are from. These are super functional stickers that look kind of budget related, which I definitely need. And then the pièce de résistance. Rachel made these amazing pug stickers with their little birthday hats. Oh my goodness, look how cute! So I'm definitely going to be using um, one or two of these. And then she also just printed out a bunch of super, super cute stickers. So I think I might be pulling for some of these as well, like the piñata, um, the rainbow. And then I love how bright and retro these are. And I love how she knows me so well, like the honeybee. Oh my goodness. And then we have a whole sheet of birthday stickers. Um, amazing, amazing party stickers. I'm definitely going to be pulling for those. She also gave me like a set of traveling stickers. I'm telling you, she knows me so well. She knows what I love. So traveling stickers. 
and then camping stickers and what <laughs> this is like my custom sticker book and look at these these are like deserty glam stickers amazing and then uh, functional stickers super cute like line drawing stickers and it just keeps on going and going when i first got this in the mail i was just absolutely floored and uh, rachel thank you so much it means so much to me that you you know spent all this time to make this birthday gift and it's just so incredibly sweet of you and it was also your birthday this month happy birthday to rachel um, her birthday was on April 21st, so she's forever my Taurus sister. And I'm definitely going to be sending her a little birthday gift in the mail. <laughs> it's going to be super delayed, so I'm sorry about that. But I'm waiting to get my Cricut so I can really start printing out nice stickers that you don't have to cut by hand. And then Rachel, you're going to get my first wave of stickers. So um, let's get into setting up the spread. And I think I am going to start off with a little bit of washi tape. Here it is. I lost my washi tape for a second there. Um, I, again, I just want to make sure I'm using my washi tape. So I'm going to be lining the bottom with this Simply Gilded Bow washi tape. I think it's a very, very cute and festive. When in doubt, add washi at the bottom of the page. It's such an easy place to add washi. I think it really um, elevates any planner spread. And you can always use a lot of washi here at the bottom. Oop, we have a little piece of washi left over. So I'm just going to add it here. Okay, and then we also have this celebrate and party washi that I think I'm going to line the top with, like up here. This is one of my oldest washi tapes. This is one of the first washi tapes I ever got, I'm pretty sure. Um, this was actually a Once More With Love washi tape, I believe. I got it at Michael's um, back when Once More With Love was in Michael's. I'm going to add some more down here and some more over here. That's why I'm almost done with this washi tape. I'm always trying to use it for birthday spreads um, because I do want to finish up that washi. And I'm going to just pull this sheet out because this bookmark, um, which actually Rachel also gave me as a gift. I love you, Rachel. Oh my goodness. You just shower me with gifts. I appreciate you so much. Um, this bookmark um, is actually really difficult to pull off the discs so I try to just move the pages instead of moving the bookmarks. Sometimes I notice Happy Planner makes your bookmarks out of a like thicker material than what they're usually made out of. Like this one is definitely a lot thinner. This one's a lot thicker and so I don't like pulling it off discs because I feel like it bends it and this is like my all-time favorite bookmark of life and I don't want to injure this thing. So let me just um, put that there in the back and then pulling for these stickers and then I want to get into these these stickers right here. Ugh, the pug stickers. Rachel, you are the best. I love this huge cake slice and these balloons. Oh my goodness. Um, so I am going to grab this pug sticker, put it right here. And I think for boxes, I'm going to grab for my Happy Planner rainbow boxes to give myself some nice journaling boxes. Hopefully, we'll find some um, with the right colors. I might have to pull for um, my Mojo Jojo boxes. Well, actually, what if I use the gold boxes? I think that would be fun these gold boxes I think that would make this very like birthday spread okay. I'm gonna lay down some full boxes here and there I love that one with the balloons this one with the cupcake 
the gummy bears. Ugh, amazing. Put this one maybe right here. Life is sweet. And I also really like this cake sticker. So I want to put this right here on my birthday. Maybe kind of offset so the little candle doesn't get in the way of the box. And then I'm going to pull for some of these glittery presents and maybe just kind of layer them around the cake. Ooh, like so. Oh, we have some smaller star stickers I think I could layer here at the top. I'm always looking for little stickers to put up here in the calendar date section because I feel like this section is always so sparse and I try to jazz it up here and there. So we'll put all these little star stickers um, here at the top. And then I'm going to add another cake up here. Okay, I need to add some more boxes before this is just going to be like one big decorative sticker um, situation. So I'll add some more gold foil boxes. Okay, I think that's enough journaling boxes for this spread. And I want to add some balloons. So I really like these balloons here. So I'm going to add these throughout the spread. Maybe one there. Maybe one here. I'm just going to have to deal with Friday being covered up. I still have a little bit of a resistance to covering up the... Um, the dates. Although this is my journaling planner, so I feel like it really doesn't matter. Okay, how about this one? Amazing. Okay, I really like this like retro cassette here. Um, I just love this like retro look. So I'm gonna add this right here. Love it. And of course, I have to add a pug with a little birthday hat on. Uh, maybe like right here. So cute. And I love this party sticker. So cute. Oh my gosh, this is such an amazing spread. I'm going to put this right there. This is so fun. Ooh, and I can grab some of these smaller star stickers and like confetti stickers and layer them at the top as well, like so. So I don't have a lot of plans for my birthday. Um, I'm just going to get together today um, later on um, once it starts, you know, warming up and the sun starts really to shine. I'm going to go down to the beach here in San Diego with a couple of friends and just lay down on the beach and have a few cocktails. Maybe go um, uh, snorkeling if the water is warm enough and if it's warm enough in general. Um, that's all the plans I have for today. I might go get dinner and drinks um, in the evening. We'll see how I feel after a whole day of just laying down on the beach. I love this big cupcake sticker. I'm going to have to use it. Maybe like right here. So amazing. And I love this one, this gift. I'm going to put it right here. Oh, amazing. <gasps> love it. I've never had such a, like, a strongly birthday-themed birthday spread. I always just have like you know, a regular spread and maybe I'll have like a little birthday cake sticker on the day of, but this is the first time I've had like an intense birthday party spread <laughs> and I love it. Okay, I want, an, I want another rainbow, maybe right here. Love it. <clears throat> I'm tempted to have another cupcake. I just love cupcakes so much. Has anyone had Sprinkles cupcakes? Sprinkles cupcakes are amazing. This little yay sticker. Um, let's see. 
wish I could so maybe like right there. Sprinkle the little confetti pieces everywhere. I'm tempted to just use this entire page of stickers. Maybe this right here. Hooray. Another gummy bear right there. Another gummy bear right here. A little sprinkle right there. This little party favor, maybe like right there. The rainbows. I can always use more rainbows. Let's see. Where should I put this one? Mm -hmm. Maybe like right here. The little party hat. Let's see, maybe right here. Can we use this big old cake sticker again? I kind of want to have it on this side because I have this cake right here on this side. So, this one's going to be hard to fit in. Maybe layer it over the holes like so. And then just punch out the holes. Fun. This is so fun. Thank you so much, Rachel. I cannot believe you gave me so many stickers. Like, that is incredible. Okay, I want another rainbow on this side of the spread. So I'm going to put this one right there. And then this blue gummy bear. I love gummy bears, by the way. They're just delicious. I'm going to put this one right here. And then we're almost done with all these stickers. <laughs> so let's keep on going. Okay, I think that's about it I want to do. I mean, this is already a lot. This is like a fiesta explosion happening right now. Oh my gosh. And there were so many little... Oh my goodness. And there's just so many stickers left. I kind of want to use this um, piñata sticker. I just have to. Like, what if I put this... I have literally no room left. Maybe... Mm. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. There you go. And I really want to add this planner sticker just because I love my planners. And my boyfriend did give me a bunch of planners and planner goodies for my birthday. I actually, oh, spoiler alert, I actually broke my no buy last week. Um, on Monday the 17th, I broke my no buy. I bought a few happy planner things in store at Joann's and Michael's and Hobby Lobby. I bought like a few things um, from those three stores. Um, I went to those three stores because um, in a city that I passed through to get to work, there's um, a Michael's, a Joann, and a Hobby Lobby all in the same courtyard or in the courtyard over so if i go to one i always go to all three just to see like the best where, where the best deal is and i treated myself and it was an intentional breaking of a no buy i was thinking about these products for a while i kept on going back and forth and then at the end of the day i decided that i did want them and I was going to purchase them. And so I went ahead and I purchased them and I told myself it was for my birthday and it was my little gift to myself. And I have no regrets about it and I'm very happy with what I got. And so I'm gonna be sharing that in a video at some point. Okay, I'm gonna add the little planner. Maybe right here, maybe like right there. Planners and pugs, that's what I love. Look at this crazy intense spread. I cannot believe it's so intense. What an explosion. This is truly an explosion of color. And that's exactly how I like my spreads to be. So like I said, um, it's Saturday. So I'm going to go ahead and journal about what it is I have been up to this week. And I'm going to go ahead and do that right now with you on camera. Let's get into it. And usually when I journal um, after the fact, and it definitely happens, I tend to start on the closest day. So Friday was yesterday. So I'm going to journal a little bit about Friday. Um, and there we go. I finished writing um, everything that I wanted to write down. And honestly, whenever I'm journaling kind of retrospectively like this, I just think of the, I just write down the first thing that comes to mind that happened that day. 
And sometimes I am able to remember several things that happened on any given day. And in that case, I just pick one or two things, like the most salient thing that stood out to me. And then I journal a bit about that because honestly, it's not about recording every single little moment that occurs on any given day, but it is for whenever you want to look back at all of your, you know, journaling, it's nice to have like the standout moments shine out. You don't really need to record every little detail of your life, but but maybe just like the most important thing that happened that day. But that is it. So this spread was sponsored by Rachel. Thank you so much, Rachel, once again, for all of these wonderful stickers. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And everyone, thank you so much for all the birthday wishes that you all sent my way for the good energy. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Y'all are really the best, the most wonderful. Thank you so much for all the likes and comments you leave on my videos. It really does help my content be broadcast out further and reach more people. So I do appreciate all of that um, interaction on your end. And I just want to leave off saying that it's never too late to set up a spread in your planner. It could be Sunday evening and you could still knock out a spread. It doesn't have to be perfect, so just go for it. And for a spread that I did very last minute, I feel like this thing turned out beautifully. I kind of want to start naming my spreads. Um, I know planning with Bumble does that. Um, and I kind of want to start doing that too. I would call this my wonderful rainbow chaotic birthday. So let me write that down here. That is the name of the spread, my beautifully chaotic rainbow birthday. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to this spread. I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe, stay blessed, happy planning, and happy trails. Adios.